So this part that I've read in through the CATIA Direct CAD interface, it looks like our test part, but there's some extra information that's embedded inside of this part. And we can view that extra information by using two of our toolbars. The first toolbar is the Graphics Items toolbar. And on the very right-hand side of this toolbar, there's an icon labeled Toggle gd &T Items. And when I select that icon, you'll notice the extra information appears. The other icon that we're going to use is on the Graphics Modes toolbar. And it's actually a mouse mode that's right next to Quick Fixture Mode. And this icon is labeled gd &T Selection Mode. And when I go into this mode, PCDemus will allow me to select these gd &T commands. PCDemus will then build the appropriate measured feature, and it's also going to construct any dimensions that are required. I'm just going to display my edit window so you can see this happening in real time. Now, I've gone ahead and measured some manual features to build a quick and dirty rough alignment. What we're going to do now is we're going to select some of these feature control frames to build the DCC alignment. If we're having trouble seeing the labels inside of the feature control frames, we can simply select the F6 key on the keyboard. This brings up the font setup dialog, and on the lower side of the dialog, there's a slider that allows me to adjust the visible size of these feature control frames. I'm going to go into the front view and we can clearly see datum A pointing to the top surface. If I select this, PCDemus has created two new commands inside of our edit window. It's created the measurement for plane 2, and underneath of that, it's defined plane 2 as datum feature A. Let's go ahead and try the same thing for datums B and C. So we can now see PCDemus has added measurement commands and datum labels for datums B and C. Now, in the background, PCDemus is making some decisions for us. And those decisions are based on parameters that we set up ahead of time, telling PCDemus how to measure these features. If we select Edit, Preferences, there's a new menu that's been added labeled Inspection Plan Defaults. And when we open up this Defaults menu, not only do we make decisions about how our planes are measured, but we also make decisions about auto circles, cylinders, any constructions, and even some of the dimensions. And all those are stored as a default, and PCDemus can look up the answers that we wish to use.